Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So, yeah, I'm back on American Truck Simulator. It's been a while. I'm really busy. But yeah, I'm just here in Burns where we left off. I'm in the same truck. I just changed it up a little bit. Took off that third axle there on the truck and changed the paint job. I put the big sleeper on it too. Not the flat top. And we actually have the John Ruder Great Dane trailer on the back. Also looking pretty good actually. Just customized it up and I got the airline hookups in the rear of the truck if you can see there. Um, yeah I'm just on the scales here. I've never seen this. I don't know if this is in every gas station or just here but I just wanted to check it out. I don't have any anything in the trailer. It's a 53 foot trailer. It's pretty long. Let's see. Can you can weigh your vehicle for ten dollars? All right then. Thirty-eight thousand five hundred eighty-one pounds. That's pretty cool. So yeah, let's um go ahead and find a job here. I still haven't got around to doing the the Freightliner uh, review yet. I've just been so busy. I just want to get on here and drive and play um, job market. Let's go. Cargo market, right? Yeah, this is my trailer. Yeah, I did just have to. I just bought this trailer and I just spawned it down here. So, what should we go for here? Route length. Okay, that's longest. I don't want it. I want to keep it pretty, pretty good. Um. Yeah, I haven't been down here, so I guess we're going south. I don't want to go into Idaho. I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna find a load. Alright, I'm going to go for this one here. Dry milk, 41,471 pounds from Burns to Redding, California. Looks like an interesting trip there. So it is 335 miles. Pretty far. Um, yeah, we need to pick it up. Uh, from UPS. Alright. I'll just head over there quick and pick it up. Meet you guys over there, I guess. Alright, we got it all loaded up here. I'm just going to pull it forwards a little bit. And then we'll just do a quick check. Alright, outside of the truck now. Go and look around here. Um, yeah, we have furniture on, I'm pretty sure, so don't need the, f the reefer on. Um, no, dry milk we have on. I thought it was furniture. <laughs> dry milk. Alright, airlines are hooked up good. Looking pretty good. Oh, this, this uh, trailer looks so good. Uh, random houses that aren't connected, I don't think, so that's alright. Wow, look at these tires, like, look at the detail on there. It's pretty good. Got the Oregon plate on there, lights are on, good looking good. Wide turns, yep. Yeah. It'd be cool if they added a feature where you had to fill up the reefer fuel tank. I don't think... Because when you fill up, you just fill up the truck, don't you? I think I do kind of like this sleeper better than the flat top, actually, on this truck. I like this paint job. Looking good. Thermo King reefer. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get back in the cab. And hit the road. We've got 335 miles to go. I do have some pretty interesting stories, and I just crashed. Man, the turning for this trailer is so bad. It's just because of that spread, I think, on there. Oh, I had so much room, though. I shouldn't have crashed that. Alright, let's hit the road. Once I get on the highway, I'll tell you these stories pretty, I don't know, they're just pretty, been a pretty crazy couple of weeks for me. Oh, I'm gonna cut that. Ah, that's so crazy. This thing just cuts in like nothing. We do have a stretched out chassis though on the truck too and it's lowered of course 
that probably makes it even harder. Man, this thing looks good. Green light, let's go. Heading to California. To Target. Target stores. Alright, what's the speed limit? 25. I can't remember what engine's in this. I think it's a Cummins. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, hopefully the next video after this will be the Freightliner classic look through. Look at whatever first look. <laughs> 35. Okay, that there actually happened to me too. I guess they hit a pipe, but yeah, that happened to me in real life last week. Well, I experienced it, but it didn't happen to me. But I'll tell you that in a second. Let's just get on the road here. Let's just get up to highway speed. Just listen to that engine for a little bit. Speeding, probably. Is that what that is? Oh. I don't know, it didn't come up. Was I speeding then? I thought it was 45. Let me just look at the map quick here. I don't think we hit a highway, it's all kind of scenic. Is it I don't know if that's a highway or not. It'll be a good drive though. A scenic drive. Oh I gotta concentrate here. It's weird right now, my, I just rebuilt my office kinda, like I got this huge L-shaped desk and it goes right around my whole room, and my monitor is on like this raised up stand on the desk, like it's built into the desk, and I normally have my monitor like on desk level, so it's like eye level, so actually I'm looking up at it right now, so it's not, it's uh, like uncomfortable for me, I've been I've had the monitor eye level for years, so it's weird to look up at it. Like, it makes the field of view on the game look different for me. Okay, we're hitting the left here. Riley. Oh yeah, listen to that engine brake. I don't want to get any crashes at all. Okay. I think about here is where I need to be with this trailer. I hit that thing, of course, yep. Oh yeah, there we go. That's about right. 395 south. Trucks 60. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice drive. Watch out for cattle. Oh, I'm so excited for like Texas and Wyoming. Oh, I've seen the pictures that they released, it's so good. Alright, yeah, we're about getting up to speed now, so I'll just roll up these windows. Oh, much quieter. I didn't look in the sleeper. Ooh, that's nice. Gotta keep my eyes on the road, though. Okay. So, yeah. My week has been pretty crazy. My last two weeks, anyway. So... I... Okay, so if you don't know, I'm working for... An agricultural contractor, so... He does, like dump wagon stuff, so like moving soil, manure, sand, whatever, and then in the summertime we do baling all summer, like, so we're probably going to start baling in a week or so here. And, okay, the first part of the story, it happened in the same day, 
So when I was saying about that guy who broke that water line there in Burns, yeah, that happened to us. So we were working at a job site. We were just moving topsoil from this new machine shop, I guess. This guy that hired us, he has a a lawn care company and he's build, building it for his lawn mowers and stuff. Anyway, we are moving the topsoil in the back so he could make a parking lot. And the guy in the excavator hit a main line for water. And it was such a mess. Like, the yard flooded in, like, seconds. It's crazy how much water comes out. Like, they... And the reason why he hit it is because they didn't call. Like, be call before you dig or whatever. They didn't do that. So there could have been, like, gas lines and everything under there. Which there probably was. And he also hit a bunch of phone lines, too. But... Oh, well. It's pretty crazy. And then, in the same day... Okay, so where we were bringing that, it was like a five minute drive on the highway, so you pull out of the machine shop in this town, and you go down the highway a little bit, and then you dump it in this field. That's where he wanted it. And I got pulled over <laughs> by a sheriff. He, well, I, so I, I seen this, I passed this guy like three or four times. Oh, it's getting pretty crazy here. Whoa. Yeah, so this sheriff passed me three or four times throughout the day and then literally the fourth time he pulled me over I was pulling in off the highway into this place and I saw him on the side of the road there like he was waiting at the stop sign to turn right and I was turning in to where he was and I was like oh crap sheriff is there didn't think anything of it then I'm going down that road where he was at and I didn't see him like going down the highway I was like huh where did he go but I couldn't see him because he was so close behind my trailer like I couldn't see him in the mirrors of the tractor and I'm driving down the road and I just see this like light and I'm like what the heck is that so then when I turn on the bend a little bit I can see behind my trailer and he's trying to pull me over I was like ah oh, crap what did I do and I'm thinking like oh maybe my lights are out on some on the trailer or on the tractor so yeah, I pull over, and he tells me, oh yeah, do you have a license and all this stuff? Yeah, okay, give him all my license. But where I live, you don't need a license to drive a tractor, so I was like, what? All right then, whatever, just like, come, just, you know, um, comply or whatever with him, like, don't argue. I don't want to get into trouble. Then he takes it and is walking around the tractor, and he's like, just sit there, stay there, whatever. And I'm like, what? What? Like, what did I do? So, he comes back and he says, "Do you know how much you weigh?" I was like, "No." He's like, "Well, you look pretty heavy." And I was like, "Oh, okay, yep." Yeah. He thinks I'm overweight. So he's like, "Yeah, the tires are bulging pretty, pretty good. Uh, looks like it's gonna pop. All this stuff." And. So he wants to weigh me. So there's a farm just up the road there with a set of scales. He he goes to the sign for the farm, whatever, calls a guy. He wants to weigh the tractor. And the guy says, yeah, okay, it's going to be 20 bucks or whatever to weigh. And of course, he doesn't want to pay it. He can't pay it. I don't know, whatever. The cops don't pay it. I don't know. So I call my boss to see if he can get it charged to him. Okay, yeah, it's all good. So, then we weigh the tractor, and I'm overweight, like 21,000 kgs. I was gross 51,000. Oh, speeding here. Lakeview discovered. But yeah. I don't know, it's weird because there is weight limits, obviously, but he didn't even know what the agricultural weight was. Like, we have trucks truck weights and then there's farm machinery weights i don't know but i just drive whatever they load me up and i drive i don't i don't know the weights and stuff like that like for truckers you know like what you need to carry and stuff like for tractors or farmers like what <laughs> i don't know it's weird you not you don't think about oh crap am i overweight like you don't have like 
when I drive trucks, we have the little the PSI gauges for the axles. We don't have that on the tractor. You don't really know. You don't have an idea of what you weigh, really. Alright. So, the trailers we're using, they're rated for like 25 ton, and I think I was like 29 or 30. But it's topsoil, so I guess it's pretty heavy. But you don't know how much you weigh. And, like, when we're doing... We've done lots of work like that. And you always are just carrying the same amount of weight. Like, the tractor has more enough horsepower. And he has, like, my boss has put bigger flotation tires on the on the trailers. So they actually are able to carry more than 30,000 pounds. So, or whatever, 30 tons, yeah. Um... So yeah, we get a ticket. Well, he gives my boss a ticket for it. What the? Oh, I thought I was turning off. I was supposed to turn off there. I thought it was a dead end. It's a pretty big ticket. I'm not gonna say how much it was, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty big. But he said he got pulled. This is the first time in ten years he's been pulled over for overweight. Because the cops in our town. <laughs> actually if like give him a permit or something he said like that he can hold this weight in town because you're not going very far it's literally like five minutes it's like three kilometers that we were going pretty crazy stuff that's the first time i've ever been pulled over and i was like oh crap i thought i would have been pulled over sooner by now but i guess i'm a careful driver when i see a cop i slow right down <laughs> But when I was, there was, so at the job we were doing, there was me and my boss, and there was a guy from the company that had the excavator, he had a semi-truck, and he was loading him the same as us, or even more, so that semi-truck was probably way overweight too. But, yeah, of course it's me that gets pulled over. And, yeah, this is how crazy it was too, so, then the week before this happened, I actually was driving down a gravel road heading back to my boss's yard and got a rock through the windshield on the tractor, completely smashed it out. And those things are three grand to replace. So and then this happens too. It's just great. But like my boss is like, well this stuff always happens. He said last year he got five windshields out in tractors, it's just crazy. There's nothing you can do about it. Like the guy that passed me on the gravel road was a was a semi truck and he had a rock between his tires. It's just madness. But yeah. Nothing you can do about it really, I guess. Like I slowed right down, I pulled off to the side because I saw this truck coming. Oh, he was just speeding like crazy too. But my boss chased him down. <laughs> Got him to stop. But he's not going to pay for it. Yeah, I hope you guys liked that story. <laughs> I thought it's been a pretty interesting week. I just worked like 15 days in a row or something like that. When I got today off, which is Sunday. So I'm making some videos. I, well, I'd only worked until noon yesterday, so I came home and mowed my lawn. Which I'm going to make a video on because it's pretty cool. I got a finishing mower from my Ford 2N tractor. Oh, it works so good. It's just like a big ride-on tractor. <laughs> it's awesome. But yeah, that's your entertainment there. I feel like if I take a break from making videos like I have, because I've been so busy, I have a bit to tell. Instead of just sitting here, not saying anything. <laughs> and, oh, I wanted to say about Farming Simulator. It's pretty dead, I think. I just wait until the new game comes out, 22, because it's kind of getting stale for me. I know there's new mods and stuff, but same thing over and over again. 
The game's been out for like three years, hasn't it? I don't know, the views aren't great on it, so I guess people aren't enjoying it. Lawn mowing simulator though, like I mentioned in the last video. Can't wait for that. It says summer 21, which I'm guessing is going to be July or August. Bunch of towns I'm driving through. Pretty cool. Oh, I really want to find a, a cattle liner for this. I know there's a couple of guys that make the paid ones. I'd like to pull a cattle liner. I know there is cattle liners in Euro Truck, but I don't think they are in, in this game though, which is weird because we haul a lot of cat cattle in North America. A lot of lot of cattle liners around here. But yeah, I kind of want to. Probably after this video, I've made this. I'll rearrange my desk and. So the piece, like it's all, it's a big desk and you can split it up into pieces, so it's got one, two, three, four, four actual workstations, I guess. They all clip together, or bolt together. So the one that ha is made for your computer, I guess, monitor, that, which has a stand, you can like, I'm thinking of putting my second monitor on it for like Discord or whatever, and then having, put in the regular desk back here so I can have my monitor eye level again because I just oh my neck is hurting now from this it's not that high it's like half a foot maybe up in the air it's just odd for me I know people some people have their monitors like fixed to the wall up above and they look at them but like I'm just so used to having it down But yeah, Farming Simulator, I think, is pretty much done for this channel until the new game is out. I just get so bored of it. Like, I kind of grinded that time-lapse series, but... I don't know, I get like 14 views and then American Truck gets like 300 on some videos. Or those review videos of the trucks and then... Regular gameplays like this is like 160 to 100 views. And then I want to get a video of my tractor with the finishing mower on it. I just saw that my sickle bar mower video is like 300 views. It's pretty crazy, I didn't expect that. My channel is slowly growing. It's nice to see. I I haven't posted for a while, but I went within two weeks, I think. I went from 165 subscribers to, what am I, 176 now? It's nice to see. I just hope I keep... I just want to upload, like, at least once or twice a week. Just to keep the content there. Even though I'm so busy, I'm going to try... Like in with bailing here, I'm gonna be flat out like 18 hour days. It's pretty crazy, but you got it. Bales have to get bailed, so. Then in the winter will be pretty slow, so videos should be pretty consistent. Oh, I see the destination already. Have I been talking for that long? Man, this truck is nice. And yeah, Alex L, if you're watching this, shout out to you because I just was talking to you right about the multiplayer for this game is in beta. That's pretty cool. I will play multiplayer with you. Just I haven't had so much time. I won't have time probably today, but maybe I will later on. That's going to be good. Because I like the multiplayer, but it's an extra thing you got to download, and it's, I don't know, it's weird without traffic in the game. 
It's been good though. The how many years that's truckers and PSB now. It's been good. Great, great fun. But I like this one, the built-in standalone. I guess. Not. It wouldn't be standalone. <coughs> It'd be built-in. Yeah, it's nice. Because it's traffic, but the only thing is, is that it's like a host thing, so there's only so many players you can have at a time, but hopefully they make it so there's more players, hopefully 50 or so in at a time. I don't know. We'll see. These trucking games are evolving, like, all the time. It's nice to see. Like, it's so fresh with the trucking games, like, there's always new updates and expansions, even though like Euro Truck has been out since what, 2012? It's still like a brand new game if you hop in it now. slowing down. I think we're pretty much here already. Put the window down a little bit. Whoa, not that far. Oh my god. That's hard to slow down that fast. I guess I gotta be in the left lane. Right? Yeah, it doesn't go up and over, so... Oh, that guy got pulled over. There's me right there. Is he pulled over? What's happening? Oh, no. What? Is this road closed? That's the sheriff. Oh, I can probably get around there. Um, what's happening here? Oh, there's a nice load of... Looks like straw. I'm still gonna go in there. If it will give me a green. What's happening? Like, what is actually happening over there? Is there a crash? Uh, hello. I'm gonna get a ticket now. Yep. Well, I got the ticket, might as well go. If I can swing my trailer in there. Hopefully the whole road isn't blocked off. Oof. I'm gonna take this out now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have rerouted it. <laughs> How do you flip it uphill like that? Good job, man. Right. It costs us seven hundred dollars to do that, so <laughs> All right. How far are we away? Twenty six miles. We're right there. If I just go right now after this video and make the Freightliner video, then it's done. We'll see. I still gotta go and weed whack my lawn. <laughs> it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I kinda wanna do it.
Redding. They're reworking California too. So that's literally going to be like a map expansion. I don't know. It's just going to look real good. I don't think they did it already, did they? I think it's supposed to come out with the Wyoming or Texas DLC. I'm coming in hot. Is that an undercover cop in front of me? Looks like it. Oh, and I'm about to hit him. <laughs> okay. Good, we're good. No, we're not good. Okay, we're good. Wide swing. Nice. What is this? No, recruiting agency. Walmart! California dreaming. Target. That's where we're going. Hopefully I can maneuver this trailer in here. Uh, where do you need it? Okay, we'll try it. I can't drive around this building, can I? Nope. Crap. Alright, <laughs> let's try this. Might not be too bad. Just get this trailer in here. Of course, there's a car right here. Uh, reverse. Just don't want to swing out and hit that car. Or I might swing into the fence. On the curb. Come on. So close to scraping it. My exhaust in the way I can't see. Oh my god, this trailer is so long. I'm gonna hit the building now. Oh no! Wow, I'm actually not doing too bad. Get it right over there. Oh no. Ah, oh, there's a bit of space here. Hopefully, there's enough to, yeah, I can pull forward. Oh, they'll take that? No, I'm gonna straighten up. Actually, I might wreck it more if I straighten up. Or try and straighten up. Oh well. Oh no, we'll be good. There's quite a bit more room here than I thought. I hate this thing. Stop popping up. Kind of wrecked it. Right, right over. Okay.
Okay, that's that's pretty good. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, not bad. In between the lines. Nice. Oh wait, you don't do that, do you? That's my trailer. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm so used to doing the detached trailer. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Stop engine. Unload. Great. No, no accidents in that one except for getting that ticket when I crashed into the little fence things. Nice. All right. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my stories and the gameplay. And thanks for all the support recently. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the video. To the video? To the channel. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.